Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. In the last episode we went ahead and uh, got both of our vassals into us. If you know what I mean. And in this episode we're going to go ahead and work towards getting Admingar there, but uh, that won't be for a little while because they don't like the fact that we annexed some vassals. And we're also going to try and make Malwa a vassal, and we're also going to try and colonize Africa. That will be a bit difficult, but we're working towards it. We have a lot of money, so uh, we could actually get more troops, I believe. Oh, only two. Okay, we can really only get two more troops, so... I'm not going to deal with that for right now. Uh, revolt is possible in Ceylon still. And that won't be going away for a while because of Buddhism. I'll explain religion in this episode, because now we actually have, uh, you know... Another place that isn't Hinduism. So let's just go ahead and cruise along at max speed here. Uh, this is now considered part of our patrimony, so this won't be causing us many problems, and it won't be giving us many taxes either, but it's still, you know, good to at least have it. And uh, this one is currently being produced. And I do not believe I have enough anything to go over here yet. Very close. So, basically, all I need to do is get this uh, exploration idea, and I should be good. So, my plan for right now... Wait a second, am I on low... Oh, I'm not on low army maintenance. Let me go down a bit. Okay, so my plan right now... What is this? It's a bark. Why is it? Why is it separate from this one? Why is this one so low? Oh, right. I had been, I'm sorry. It's been a few days. Um, okay. So my plan is to build a few more cogs. I'd say two is good. I think that won't go over my. Uh, okay. Yeah. It definitely won't go over my force limit. What's my current mission? All oh, right. Okay. Alright, let's just build a few more cogs so that when I'm able to go over here and just, like, relax, you know how it goes, I'll actually be able to bring over an army. Alright, so our revolt risk could go up, which I'm not too fond of, or we could lose 33 prestige. I don't really care about prestige. It is really, really easy to get it back up if you're in a good position, which I am. So I'm just going to go ahead and ignore that. Malwa is getting this rump kicked in this situation, and I can't go kill their, uh... I can't go kill these pretender rebels for them, so... It looks like they're going to be split up or something, or at least taken over partly by Gurjat. Or Gaj... Gajarat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Now I can explain Buddhism. You see? Religion is, uh, it, it causes problems. Usually, revolt risk is the big thing, but it can also cause tax modifiers to go down. Right now, I'm getting very little tax because I'm intolerant, uh, the revolt risk, and because I, they have a different culture. And you can't change the culture without changing the religion first. I cannot change the religion, however, because... It, my my value right here, the, the little numbers there, are too low. So in order to do, to, in order to actually be able to do that, we need to increase our missionary strength. And to increase our missionary strength, we'd need something like this. But I don't want to, you know, spend that much money. Hmm. Colonial range is still. Bah. I mean, I suppose I could. But there's another way that you can um, increase your... Right now, I'm just going to leave them and just have some uh, army there in case they revolt. But there are other ways to increase your uh, chance. For example, stability increases the percentage by 0.5% for everyone that's over 1. So, for example, like if you're at... One stability, you get 0.5%. Two st stability, you get 1% bonus. Uh, so that's a good way. If you have high stability, you're good at... Um, 
Wait, how long have- oh, that's an armory, okay. What is this? The scholar has a bl name, is acclaimed as one of the three spiritual lights. Oh my god. <laughs> so many words. Even his opponents admired his clear understanding and exposition of his opposing schools of thought. A master at debate and dialogue in logic and philosophy, his great influence over the empire. Uh, the king has the greatest regard and respect for him. Okay, what's so great about him? So, do we want him to spread wisdom throughout land, or do we want him to be vital to our empire? Well, if we want him to be vital to our empire, we get a two philosopher, which means that we can then hire him. I don't like that kind of option. Usually that option is pretty shitty, so... I'm gonna go with the power, because we need more administrative power. Because we need to get up our administration. I want to get the temple as soon as possible. Alright, we have gained the Casas Belly against Malwa. One, two, three, four, five. I believe we can um, take over Malwa right now. I might have, should have checked this, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and declare war on them. Oh, they're allied with Bengal and. J oh, Jean Poor. Hmm. Alright, that's not good. I could also definitely um, get Bengal under my control, but if Malwa is uh, becoming allied with those guys, I'm not sure if I can take all three of these guys. That's a pretty big group, but let's take a look really quickly at the ledger. The ledger can be useful in telling you how many armies some peoples have, so I'm looking for Jean Poor, which totally sounds French. Um, they have 9,000 troops, and Malwa and Bengal, okay, Malwa has 3,000 troops, and Bengal has 3,000 troops, so I actually have way more than them, so I'm going to go ahead and declare war. <laughs> Let's go. We've improved relations with them. When you're at war with someone, it can improve your relations, but that'll go back down. Um, it, it only improves relations for the duration of the war. Is our army back up to snuff? Yes, it is. Is it fully? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and obliterate these rebels. Aren't we nice? And we just took over the siege that they had. That's beautiful. Wow. Okay. Um, am I able to vas- I can vassalize you, which I will do. Oh, no one wanted to join his war. Poor, poor guy. Looks like those allies didn't do diddly squat. I think he's in a war with, with, uh, wait, why is he still there? It, are you still in a war with him? You are still in a war with him. I thought... Huh. I thought you had gotten out of that war. I'm half sorry, but I'm half not. I actually shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, because we need some, uh... We need 50 diplomatic power. Oh, well, well, we'll have 50 diplomatic power by the end of this war. It'll take a couple years. Yay, wars! Alright, and then after this, I'm going to work on getting Bangle under my control. And Bangle's probably the most, like, east that I'm going to, uh, go. Bring in meritable women. Lots of population in there and some manpower. That's excellent. Alright. But, uh, this is probably the most east that I will travel for right now. I may go into um, Southeast Asia eventually, but for right now, I'm just going to sit right there and then move over and try and take up to about here. If you catch my cold. <laughs> Alright. Have I explored any more of the... No, not really. Hmm. It is still only uh, 1948, 40, uh, 14, 
82. <laughs> Excuse me. An alliance from Assam. Where is this Assam? Awesome. Where are they? Oh, they're right there. Uh, no. I'm a very unfriendly country. <laughs> <laughs> like, I kind of wanted to ally with Jean Poor, but then they're like, nah. Ah, I can invest in new technology. I'm going to do that. And we got new troops. This is a uh, feature in the game where if you upgrade your military, eventually you will get troops that deal more damage. Um, for example, we go all the way up to this. And, like, at level 28, you got guys that do this. They, they do way less damage than other, um... Uh... Okay, so, we're, we're Indians, so we get the Indian, uh, style troops. But other people up in, um... Uh, some tax revolts. Oh, uh-oh. Some tax revolts in, like, the wrong locations. That is not a good thing. <sighs> I don't know. We have the uh we have the army to take care of these guys and the um I'm surprised they lost that easily. You guys disgust me. Let's go ahead and combine that. Um You almost done with this war, guys? I mean, like, you're obviously going to lose. We can gain 50 diplomatic power, which I would very much like, or lose one prestige. The gold doesn't really matter to me. Right now I have a lot of gold. Like, especially for this early in the game, I almost never have this much gold. But there's not much to spend it on is the problem. For ex Like, because... Um, there are buildings and such that you can spend your money on. I'm taking this back, bitch. Savages? How the what? Okay. Back onto the boat. We have won that siege. Now let's win this one. Alright, now let's go over here. But there are like buildings in this game, but I don't really have access to many that are important right now. I have access to uh, the armory, and that's about it. And I don't really care about the armory. Colonize. What the hell is. Niger. Oh, yeah, I have plans to do that. Alright. I have plans to do that as soon as this colony is done. Oh my god. Assam, I literally told you. Oh, that's Koch. Koch. Nope. Koch returns as Koch. Or, uh, terrible phallic imagery. A new settlement. I like base tax more than prestige. Like, that doesn't even give me that much extra base tax, but it gives me, gives me good money. I do quite enjoy me some money. Even though the local tax modifier got shot down by freaking tax revolt. Alright, we have taken over Mandla. Or, I should say, Malwa. You are my vassal. Also, Give me your money. Okay, move down here and get ready to uh, head out to... Oh, we haven't stopped this revolt yet. We should probably do that. Okay. Now let's get ready to head out. First, put down some people there. I said put down some people there. Okay. Hopefully no more um, natives will attack our col- Actually, no, I'm not going to risk it. Let's put down- Not you guys. Two dudes and have them go there. Why is the battle music still playing? It's like so forceful and angry. 
There's no wars going on, dude. No. Oh, oh well. Go ahead and set you there so that you can defend my colony for right now. I'm going to have to try and at least um, convert these guys as soon as possible. But a way I'm going to do that is I think I'm going to go into the religion uh, idea tree. Try and make Hinduism a strong competitor in the world, which is not something that really happens very often in this game, by the way. Okay, I have six cards. That should be good. Um, now we have just have to wait for this colony to finish up. I'm going to start... Um, yeah, wow, I accidentally clicked on Fabricate Claim there. Um, on the Bengal Delta. So that we can gain control of this trade route. Because in a uh, trade route, there are like these things here that you see right here that give you extra trade power for that location. Oh, some religious violence happened there. Do they? They don't apparently control the, um... Well, they control this, which increases the trade power of that spot. So that's a really powerful spot to control. I'm going to go ahead and get this. Now we can build temples. Now, buildings, they cost both money and power. It co they always cost ten power per each building. So... If you go overboard in building it, you're going to get behind on the actual, like, technologies and ideas and such. You could lose 30 legitimacy or deny the old rights. I'm gonna lose legitimacy. That's kind of eh, because I just got a big hit to uh, revolts, and some places could conceivably revolt. And there's no way for me to increase my uh, thing as of now. But stability would have knocked it down worse, I believe. Oh, my legitim legitimacy is dropping quite a good amount. Alright, well, I'm not going to buy any more temples. I'm going to instead work towards increasing my stability so that I can hopefully get myself out of this mess. But I'm going to cover this whole place in temples. Temples are very important. Temples increase your tax income. So that's pretty damn good. Um, constables are going to be next, and they do the same. So, yeah. There's two ways to increase your money. Our advisor died. Hmm. Whatever, spy offense. I don't really care too much about that. Alright, let's look at the world. So we control up to here now. Gurjat and Bengal are probably going to be some of my next hits. I don't think I can fully take over um, Gur... Gur... Gurajat. Gad... Why are I calling it Gurjat? It's... Gajurat. Whatever. It's a name! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I cannot possibly take them over through vassalization as of yet. I can probably surround them and slowly pick off their locations. Also, I think some of these places... Okay, it's Kandesh. Um, Admingar considers it a core province. Admingar considers it a core province. Malwa has a claim. So I can give Malwa some of these places and give Admingar some of the other places. Amengar is pretty big for a uh, vassal, too. Usually I don't get vassals that are over, like, two, three, four, five, six. But, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, Bengal is not doing very good right now. <laughs> Alright, well, we can go to war with them. Ooh. Actually, they're at war with a bunch of other people, so I'm not going to do that. I will, however, set to go to war with these guys. I will start fabricating the claim on North Kankan. Cancun. I do know I'm 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 not very huge on the Indian culture of like I don't know everything, but I know do know some things, and I do know that the um U is I uh, not the U, the A is pronounced uh. So like it would probably be 
Vijayanagar. Or something similar to that. Except way faster and not with a stupid American accent. <laughs> the natives have attacked my very peaceful and not at all, like, taking over their land colony. Stop that. Stupid. Oh, you, uh... You are still alive. Usually that doesn't happen with rebels. I mean, it happens occasionally. Like, they will continue to run back and forth until I finally kick them in the face. There's a civil war? What the hell? My scheming of infuriated the nobles and made me some powerful enemies. It won't be long before whispers of... rumors of... Uh-oh. That is very bad. I'm assuming that's because I have such... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> like, everywhere has such a high revolt risk. Is there a way I can bring down the revolt risk? No. No, there is not. Because that dude just died. Hmm. Okay. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. And they're pretty big armies, too. Wow. Okay, let's grant you aid. I have enough money. How is this battle not going in our favor? There it goes. Hmm. There is even more support in our capital for the Pretender. There's an army just outside the gates of it, and the city is about to fall. What the hell is going on here? Fallen in the hands of the rebels. They have managed to overthrow the local government and have complained it as theirs. News has reached that they are planning to a new attack as we speak. Oh, I cannot stop that over there. Like, I do not have the forces to do that. I will, however, start making some mercenaries. So, occasionally in this game, you get, like, things like this, which are, um. Uh, don't go there. You'll just die. They are, um, events. Usually, if you do poorly, they'll become events. Okay, so we weren't able to stop them. Oh, an end of the Civil War. Apparently, we won. Okay. Except the revolt risk is still obscenely high everywhere. And it's not going down. I kind of wish it would, because that is incredibly dangerous to have it that high. <laughs> We're losing quite a good amount of money. Money. Ooh, that's pretty nice. That they are very not hostile now. Are you almost done? Oh my god, you needed one more dude. Okay. There. You are mine. Thank you. Actually, let's go ahead and put out... Let's put out... Uh, four people. No, not four people. Six. There. That's a good amount of people. So go ahead and get ready to head to... Um, Africa. Because it is about time to stake our claim on the grandeur of Africa. There's so much to get here. I've literally, like, never colonized Africa. I've made one colony in Africa, and that was it. And that was in France. And then I just, like, ignored that colony, because I'm like, you know, I feel like colonizing uh, America instead. So <laughs> I went and colonized the entirety of North Africa. All of North a I'm not, excuse me, North Africa. I mean North America. All of North America was mine. This is mine. It's mine. Uh, let's move this cog down to our actual place. Like, where we keep our dudes. I don't know what they're doing up there. Probably from, um... Military access, huh? Nope. New decisions are available. We can formalize weights and scales. I will do that. So that, that increases our money we get. By a good amount, I believe. 
Why are we so low? Oh, it's because all the tax is down because um, of the in obscenely high revolt risk. <sighs> Seriously, this revolt risk is really high. Like, it's not usually this high. Um, go ahead and get on the boat. And instead of going to Africa, I will go here to stop them from taking over this place really quickly. Because we kind of don't want them to do that. Well, let's take a look really quickly at, uh, here. The revolt risks. Rebels break the country. We are, they are 18% towards, have occupied 2 out of 22 controlled cities. No, they don't. What are you talking about? They control none. Base revolt risk has gone up because of overextension, low legitimacy, and negative stability. Well, your mom sucks. Increase our stability a bit. Um. Okay, our base revolt risk went down a good amount, but for some reason it's still super high because of that, uh, because of that, um, what, I, what, what was it? <laughs> because of the event. Like, I don't understand that, because... It said it was done, but it's not done. Alright, let's go ahead and head to Africa. And start sending our colonists over there, because it'll take them a few days. As in, like, a hundred. <laughs> We have gained a conquest belly against Gurjet. I'll go ahead and work towards getting that in a bit. I've won that battle. So now... Oh no, more people just popped up. Okay. It's mine! I now have a foothold in Africa, so that'll just be going there. Um, oh great. Wait, where's my army? Oh, it's all the way up here. We got Colonial Enthusiasm, which is nice. Um, defeat the Rebels. Oh, yes! Okay. Hells to the yes. If we defeat the Rebels here, we can um, gain two stability, which I would greatly appreciate. Now I kind of really want my king to die, because when he dies, my legitimacy will go up, and that's one of the things that's causing problems here. I'm not going to invest in this uh, new... Thing because we don't need more colonists, and all of this up here is nice, but I'll get it later once I'm more, you know, once I actually have diplomatic technology, because I have none. I think I've invested in it once. Apparently, when they said defeat the- oh, there it goes. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Yes! So now we have two stability, which is super de duper awesome. Alright, protect our brethren in North Konkan. If we own uh, North Konkin, then we get it. We can accept religious sects, which increases our tolerance of heretics, which would basically make them like us more, but it would make it so that missionaries wouldn't be as strong. I'm not going to do that. Um, I will, however, do this. This lasts until the end of the game, by the way. 1821 is when the game ends. So we can do both of these, which decrease the revolt risk and the missionary strength. So, ba-boom. Oh, crap. I could only have done one. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well. It'll take some, some time to convert that, but I can at least convert it now. Um. Alright, let's start building a few temples. Uh, I'm getting to the end of the episode. I don't think we really spent much time in this episode, but, you know, I'm going to wait until next episode to declare war on them. We could lose more legitimacy or some stability. I'd rather lose stability at this point, because losing that much stability, I mean, not stability, I mean, legitimacy would cause many, many, many problems. Oh, our dude over here. Okay, our dude's good because he's right next to one of our colonies. Go ahead and just uh, relax right there, and then I'll tell you to go out and start doing stuff. 
All right. When did I start this episode? Ooh, benign neglect. So I like tax. I'm going to say tax it. Venad will get a bit more tax. Spread our culture to Rajabra. I'm not going to do that for right now. Um, hmm. Still, all we need to own is that. Oh, Admingar likes us enough to uh, to um, want to become us. I'm a hundred percent down with that. So let me start by annexing this vessel. Vessel, vassal, vessel. Down to his last pencil. Alright, so it'll be many years, probably in the next episode, um, we will, maybe the one after that, we will, uh, convert them to us. <sighs> okay, one last thing before I end this video, let's go destroy these rebels. I'm hoping that rebel thing will pop up again, that was amazing. That was really good. <laughs> I'm surprised Ceylon has not revolted yet. I also wish there was a way to walk across this strait without boats, but whatever. I may just leave the cogs here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave the cogs here. So, not detach blockade. What are you doing, you But Um, new. Leave the cogs. And you go ahead and start um, going to Bangle. Yes. We now have a foothold over here in this um, trade place. Which is nice. We can send trade back up here. That's not that great. The trade here isn't that good, but... Uh, at least for us. But I'm mostly doing this so that we can get over to Europe a little faster. That's the main goal for Africa Conquest. Um, okay, so there are the... Oh, okay. There are the cogs. Can you get on these boats like this? No. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It seems like it only works when you're, like, on a, uh, island. I don't really get it. Some more revolts. East Brar gets suppo suppress the minority, which greatly increases the revolt risk, and we can try and negotiate, which gives all of us a national tax deficit or a well, okay, so East Barar is very not happy with me. Man, my my empire is starting to not really fall apart, but it's having its problems, let me tell you something. Look, I just want to end the video, alright? I have class in 15 minutes. Let me, like, s stop appearing. I need to go ahead and kill you. Can I squash the... Defeat the rebels! Taking that. Hopefully no rebels will pop up by the time I go ahead and squash these guys. Alright, good. Because they, they pop up like every month, I believe. Do I have rebels somewhere? Like, I don't... Why didn't that go? Oh, they, there it goes. It just takes a while for some reason. Takes like two extra months. Alright. Well, we now have three stability. So literally, in the next episode, as soon as we get this place, we will be able to form Hindustan. And that will be lovely. Because Hindustan is awesome. Also, it gives us no penalties on cultures, which will greatly decrease the revolt risk that is everywhere. Apparently the revolt risk is going down, but that's probably because of my, um... That, that's because I've uh, increased my stability drastically. Alright, so thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we will go ahead and do that and continue our conquest into Africa. Eventually, we will want to take out the Swahili and the Adol, but for right now, I'm just content in focusing mostly on conquest of India. So, next episode, we'll probably take over Admingar and Gujarat. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.